This is Nick from Comics of Retro, and we are at Nerve Base at Battles Bridge. I'm here with Retro Rich. He doesn't know he's so <laughs> Retro Rich, but I've just christened him Retro Rich, and you see that live. We're going to Nerve Base. Let's go. Right, I've just got home, guys. I've had to pr pr like do a voiceover, shall I say, on this video, because when I got there, they were doing a Funko Pop delivery. There was a lot of people sort of going up to the uh, the reception. It's not reception, is it? You're looking here right now. It's the till area. What would you call the till area? The till, I suppose. But anyway, let's get back to the point. That's the reason why I'm doing a virus server. Now, this is Battles Bridge in terms of nerd base. This is like my this is like my church. I'm gonna call it my church. That's what I'm gonna call it. Guys, straight off, first of all, check out the price of these Pokemon cards. I will never, ever be able to look. 2,200 for a Pokemon card is absolutely crazy. These are superb. These are. I am a massive, massive fan of Back to the Future. There's one coming up right now. Big fan of Spider-Man. These. I would love this in my games room. Really would love it. How good would they look on the shelf? I know there's obviously people watching now that've got them. If you've got one, let me know. The Back to the Future as well. A little bit gutted with the Back to the Future that it was the cat. It was the, the uh, Back to the Future three. I'd have preferred if it was a like Back to the Future one or two. This is my mate, obviously Retro Rich. He didn't know his name was that. I was taking the mic. His name's Rich. I put the retro in it. But he's, he was having a great day here. And let's have a look. Ghostbusters. Massive, massive fan of the Ghostbusters back in the day. Also, obviously, Thundercats was there as well. Going over, I had, a, in terms of my mum's friend, uh, we had a daughter, so I know all about Polly Pocket, all that kind of the kit, all the, the girls' stuff back in the 80s as well. I know about that. Going down, He Man. He Man, I'm Masters of the Universe. What a. And that film in the 1980s, I need to get that on VHS, guys. The VHS, Master Universe. Coming around, Gold Goals. Did I pronounce that right, Gold Goals? That was more my brother's era. That was sort of like five years after me, but still a fan of it. Don't mind it at all. Little bucket there. Little bucket there of wrestling figures at the bottom. Turtles. Turtles. This is this is my number one. If you're a 1990s sort of 80s kid, the Turtles was absolutely everything. I've just started collecting the little figures. Have you seen the prices of the little figures as well? If you get them in the box, they're like 200, 250 pounds. An absolute fortune, but I'm, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm collecting them out the uh, out the, the boxes on this one. Let's get back to it. Hook. I love the Hook toys. Now, the problem with the Hook toys, it doesn't look like them. I was gutted. I want I, Hook's my favourite film as a kid. I love Hook, but the toys, I'm going to buy them because it's Hook, but, you know, they don't look nothing like them. E.T. I've just bought a massive E.T. from Nerd Base. I bought a massive... Uh, I'll drop a little photo of it in for you to check out. So we've got the 80s and 90s, Polly Pockets and the My Little Ponies as well. Looking, I, I really want the Ghostbusters, you know the car, the classic white car. I'm after that big time in the future. That's one I, I'd like to get. This is the, to the stairs. So this is to get upstairs. Yes, there is two amazing floors in this place. Look at the posters. See the marble, the red marble there? It was £40. I'm going back to buy it. No one, no one push in. Don't go and, go and grab it before me. I need it for my, my game room. Upstairs, the comics. Look at the comics. I need to go back here. I keep going with other people, and I don't want to bore them and be spending hours in the comic area. I want to go through every single comic. Yes, I'm a, I'm obsessed. I'm, a, I'm addicted. Go back to the... I was never a fan of X-Men. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, but I didn't love X-Men. I'm sorry, guys. If you're an X-Men fan, shout out to you guys. Going across, I just wanted to do a little show. It was quite good. Everyone was shopping downstairs, so give me a chance to whip across and show you upstairs. You've got the big figures. You've got the comics up here. Look at the Joker. How, that's my favourite Joker as well. I love the, the, the Hugh Ledger. I can never pronounce words properly, like I say. Hugh Ledger was my favourite. And then that Batman as well, the 1960s Batman. You can't beat that on that side of things. Going across, now these are your top ones in terms of your comics that are behind the glass, you know, behind the glass. Don't touch. You can look. You can look. You can't touch. It's too expensive. Coming down, I do want to get some turtles, some retro turtles. Guys, you need to check out my other vlog. It says my, my game room vlog. Have a look at my turtles comics that I've got. I'll, I'll drop a link down below. Going back to this video. So we're looking at I'm, I'm, I'm another thing. I might not be, you know, I might not impress people, but I'm not a massive fear of like the golden and the silver over of the comics. I'm all about modern day. I've just got into comics. It's all about new for me on this side. Look at this wall. I want that. I want that. It sounds stupid, but that's sort of wallpaper I want in a toilet, in my toilet. 
sorry, I apologise. I apologise. Anyway, these are the newest comics. Every week, every Wednesday, they show out the latest comics. What I love it, and what they've, what, they've, what I like about the nerd base, they normally have comics that other companies don't normally order in. So I've always been quite impressed with their selection. Have a look over on this side. Now, I'm not saying I've seen every single toy in the world, but I've never seen that selection, those boxes of toys before. Mortal Kombat, what a game back in the 90s. The blood, the guts, the, the killing was brilliant. Look at that little Hulk as well. I've just, gone, I've just gone too high. There's a Hulk. Hopefully, I'll come back down and I'll show you. I want it for my desk. That's what I'm after on my desk. I'm starting to get into toys again in terms of the Batman figures. There's Hulk. Look at Hulk on the left. He'd look awesome on my little table in the office and we can slash games room coming across and see what we can spot here now i am after more spider-man toys uh little slug, little figures these coming up now yeah they're the sort of figures that i want unbox one day i'll get but if i win the lottery i'm gonna go box but right now i haven't won the lottery so we've got to go unbox i did buy a spider-man uh in the past there it was about 25 pounds the perfect sort of price so i'm looking to spend on that side mario the Mario movie. I still haven't watched the Mario movie. That's a reminder. So, note to self: watch the Mario movie. Going on back over to the uh, which Mortal Kombat was your favourite? Mine's probably Sub Zero. I love Sub Zero. Now they've got a collection of games. I won't lie. Nerd base. If you ever watch this, please, 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 put your games out better. Like, I want to be able to see the prices. I, I just called the staff member up just to have a look at prices and look at the discs and stuff like that. I'm a little bit disappointed with how these are laid out. I've got to be honest. I'm a massive, massive retro gamer. Yeah. So I come up all this. Oh my God, retro games and stuff like that. And then, and it's a little bit like, I don't know what's underneath and everything. I'm, I want to, I want to be able to see it more clearly. So no base. I love you dearly. It's not, it's not, it's not, per, it's not personal. It's just strictly business. I looked at the couple of Dreamcast games. I'm a massive Dreamcast game. Another thing I've just got into, Amiga games and the CD-ROM games. I've got a lovely Grand Theft Auto, Jurassic Park and Wrestle, uh, WrestleMania one that I've got. So uh, I'm, I'm collecting them as well. Coming back to this video, let's have a look. Batman animated series. If you haven't watched it, get yourself on Netflix. The 1990s Batman is superb. The art is absolutely stunning. So I need to pick up a couple of those toys as well on that side of things. Coming over, Master Universe. I love those boxes. That cardboard, that, that blue and red is so iconic. I love it. This is quite good. These are like the more pricey, obviously, behind the... Uh, behind the cages it's behind the glass and it a little bit protected but i do definitely need to get in terms of the animated comics uh animated batman sorry uh that's what i need to get into let's have a look now this is a, a nice little picture of james bond i had a nice little photo you'll see that at the end i had a good photo of james bond i love those large figures i've got a big mario big spider-man and big et whipping around i'm not a big fan of pop I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. if you're a big fan of pop, I'm not a big fan of pop. I was a massive fan of pop, and I just thought they brought too many out. It's got a bit boring, it's, it's too many, it's too many. So, anyway, Superman's on the wall. I like the Superman toys on that side. Big, nice, big DC uh, statues. I didn't actually check them out, I need to check them out as well. Looking across the hill, we've got the Avengers, we've got more X-Men, we've got some Batman coming up as well. G.I. Joe, I didn't like G.I. Joe. I'm saying negative now, I'm saying what i don't like let's talk more what i did like i like 007 i like comics there we go save me the turtles my favorite i want that i actually asked if that was for sound they said no i want that in my games room let's show you up on the wall again i had a little bit better of view love that iconic the the, uh, the amazing spider-man front cover going up in terms of course we've got the hogwarts as well the jurassic park oh my god that 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 badge sign iconic this is the marvel one don't touch it guys i'm buying it i'm going back this weekend i'm buying it back to the future best film ever non-negotiable star wars like that the way they put the ship on there i'd like to know how many nails that took or, or did they use sellotape or or blue tack how did they put that up i know you're going how's he thinking of blue tack it doesn't go on walls it does it does star wars we've got the star wars we've got new figures we've got old figures then we've gone back downstairs now now the downstairs has got a second room we've got like a retro room and then you've got like a slash modern slash retro as well now retro rich here he's obsessed with star wars he, he loves the old star wars on that side of things i would never buy a star wars toy but i do enjoy the films i do enjoy the film now hot wheels i'm into my cars i need to buy i want to buy the animated batman hot wheels on that side of things let's go across thunderbird a little bit of thunderbirds mask as well there not into pokemon 
Nine's Pokemon, but I get it. I get why everyone's going mad over it. I like it. They've got some great bags. Some great bags on the right hand side. Some very themed bags that I've always liked. This is to show you around the room. This is the horror section. This is my sort of area. We've got Ghostface. We've got Jason. We've got Chucky. We've got Michael Myers. I love this area. Really, really, really love this area. If you like your horror movies, like Ghostface and stuff like that, it's superb. Look nice little figures. There we go. There's Ghostface. It as well. How good was it back in the days as well? The Friday the Thanks and the Halloween's there. Chucky's there. The old monsters. I remember that watching that as a kid. Now you're wrestling. These are more of your more recent toys, not your retro toys. These are more recent. I love them. Look at the top. The Randy Savage and Andre the Giant in terms of uh, in the ring. And the retro rigs picked one of them up. Shout out to him as well. That I love that those figures. So guys, this is Nerd Base Battles Bridge. This is a must-go shop. A must-go shop. If you're into your retro shopping, into comics, into classic cartoons and movies, I'm going to give you back to Nikki. Nikki on the day is going to speak over to, uh, speak to you now. I'll come back when the photos pop up in a sec. See you in a second, guys. Retro Rich, what do you reckon? Very good. Yeah? Do you pick, what do you pick up? Hey, man. Roger Rabbit. Yeah, baddies, all baddies, all weren't baddies. it? Um, and oh, and uh, Darth Maul. Darth Maul, another baddie though. It's fantastic. Take the old uh, price tags off, so the dragon out there don't see it. Wow. Okay. So, I got, I got Freddy Flintstone. I've got some comics. I've got a, a dream car steering wheel that I've been after for quite a while. So, as I say in the movies, that's a wrap. Retro Rich, thanks for coming. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check me out at Comics on Retro. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and there'll be more videos. Make sure you subscribe down below. More videos are coming in terms of shopping, collections, pickups, games room, retro gaming, retro shopping, comics. You name it, I do it. I'll see you real soon, guys.